I'd like to show you a little bit about Anchored Objects in InDesign CS 5.5. That's the latest release that just started shipping, I don't know, recently. Anyway, Anchored Objects allow you to take an object, like a picture or a group of objects, and anchor it to a bit of text, like a paragraph. That means if the text frame moves or the text itself moves, you can make the object go with it. This is better than grouping things together because, you know, you may not want to move the text frame. You might just want to move the text. We've been able to do anchored objects or inline objects, either or, for some time within InDesign. But if you take a look at InDesign CS 5.5, you select a picture or a group of objects, you'll notice this extra little box right here, this little blue box. Now, if I go up to a picture, let me scroll up a little bit here and click on a picture frame, you'll see the same little box right there. Now, you typically will not see that on a text frame. As a matter of fact, if I go to a text frame, draw a text frame, type in a little bit of text, as if it's grouped or if it's part of a thread. So you'll see right here, if I click on this one right here, I don't have the little box. If it's all by itself, you'll see, yep, we get the little box, we can anchor it to something. But if it's, let's say, grouped with this object, let's say I take these two together and I group them together, we can do it. If I ungroup it, I won't be able to do it on just the regular old text frame. Okay, so let me get rid of that. All right, so here's just a group of little shapes. If I want to anchor it somewhere, I can go up to that little blue box, click and drag, drop it somewhere in the text, let go, and I've got myself an anchored object. So let me try that again. And there we go. So you see we get the little uh, dotted line or dashed line there. We also get the box now turns into a little anchor. And if you look really close right here, I'll zoom in really tight. You'll see this little guy. If you have your hidden characters turned on, you'll see this little symbol. That indicates the positioning for the anchored object. Let me zoom out. Now, if you want to see that, go up to Type, Show Hidden Characters at the bottom. If you want to see a line that indicates, whoops, that indicates uh, where it's being, you know, where it's pointing it to, essentially, this guy here, right here. You can go under View, go to Extras, and literally click Show Text Threads. That'll show it for you. All right, now, a couple other things we can do here. If we want to break it, first of all, let me show you what it does. How about that? I'll move the text frame. It moves with it typically. If I move the text itself, hit return, it moves with it, okay? Now, I want to show you a couple different ways to do this. First of all, I want to show you how to break it. So if I click on the object here, go up to that little anchor. If I right-click on it, you'll see we have anchored object. We have there either options, which are options we can set, or release. I'm going to choose release, and we go back to that little blue box. Now, if you look at the tooltip here as I hover, it's going to say, okay, shift, drag to make inline object. Now, what does that mean? That means instead of keeping it outside the text frame, it's going to stick it in line. So if I take that little blue box, shift, drag it somewhere, it's going to put it in line. So that's going to put it in a paragraph, or if we want, we can make it a separate paragraph. That's going to really go with the text frame. So you can have it go exactly with. You can also set things like space before, space after, line height, letting, things like that to get it to look good. All right, now I'm going to move it out again. So I'll right click on it, go to anchored object. Take a look here, you'll see options. I'm no longer getting that release. So here's what I can do I can either undo or I can cut it and paste it and get it back out. All right, now the last thing we can do is if I take that little blue box, if I want to show options, before, as I'm doing this, I can Alt on Windows or Option on Mac, drag. So I'll drag here, Alt on Windows, Option on Mac. Let go of my mouse, let go of the key. You'll see we get the Anchored Object Options dialog box. And that lets me go in and change my options here. So I can say, you know what, the upper, upper right corner of the frame, let's have the X be a little further in. There we go. The Y, we're going to say to the cap height. That's the cap height of the text that this object is in, this little line is in. And I'll bring it down. Wrong way. There we go. So align with the cap height. There we go. Say preview. That looks good. Click OK. Now if the text moves, if I hit returns or do whatever, you can see it stays in position. If the text frame itself moves, it moves as well. So now this little feature, you guys, is great for doing just what I showed you. Take objects, like let's say little... Text frames, I want to put a little quote on the side or something like that. Let me fill this place with text. There we go. That's great. I can take this guy and just, you know, attach it to some text in here, and then frame moves, it moves. Now, this is also good if you guys do EPUB. Okay, if you do EPUB, a lot of times they're telling us, and I've found this too, 
that we want to be able to take our objects, our let's say our graphics or our images, and anchor them to text so that it works with the flow a little bit better. Anyway, working with anchored, anchored objects, if you guys have used InDesign versions in the past, there's still the menu items to do that, which is typically under Object, and then go to Anchored Object. You can see it there, but... CS 5.5 of InDesign allows us to add some really easy and new ways to work with anchored objects. 